Um, yeah. So if you can find a seat, comfortable seat, um, kind of sit on the ground. And if you have trouble finding, um, yeah, a yoga mat, just like carpet or whatever is great. So come onto the ground and start to just move your seat a little from side to side. Good, and then shift a little forward and back if this is uncomfortable or if you feel tight, you can stretch your legs out in front of you and kind of shake out your legs. Good, and then in the beginning of the yoga practice, we call this the grounding, the centering. So with your hands down on your knees, take a deep breath in, squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears. And then exhale, let your shoulders drop straight down. Good, and then do that two more times. Inhale, shoulders squeeze up. Exhale, shoulders drop down. One more time, inhale, shoulders squeeze up. Hold at the top. And then exhale, circle your shoulders around, back and down. Do that two more times. Up, around, back and down. Good, up, around, back and down. Give your shoulders a little shake. And if it's comfortable for you, close your eyes. So kind of mindfully transitioning into this space, this Tuesday morning practice together. So this might be your first ever yoga class, yoga practice, so welcome. And thank you for signing up for this class, for joining me this semester. So yoga is a practice all about listening to our bodies, to our hearts, to our spirits. It's all about kind of connecting to presence. So as we begin, just close your eyes and notice how you feel right now. You might notice maybe a little anxiety or um, excitement, first day, first class, apprehension, maybe you're tired, still in bed. So nice long spine, take a deep breath in and then let a big breath out. So allow your spine to grow tall. Take a full deep breath in through the nose. And then let a big cleansing sigh out through your mouth. And then one more deep breath in. Big exhale. And then place your hands down on your belly and see if you can make your belly kind of expand on your inhale and contract on your exhale. So deep belly breaths, breathing in, letting go. One more inhale and exhale. Good, now bring your hands together in front of your heart, palms touching. So this is called a mudra, it's a position you make with your hand. So thumbs towards the middle of your chest, we can also call this namaste hands. And then I invite you here to set an intention for your practice today, maybe for this semester. So your intention can be a word or a feeling, maybe a word like peace, strength, balance, focus. Maybe what you want to get out of this class is um, more um, abilities to deal with stress. So think of a word like calm, relaxation. So take a deep breath here all together. Inhale, exhale, and then press your palms together and stretch your arms up and over and then reach your arms out and down. Awesome. So here you can kind of place your feet down, windshield wipe your knees side to side. So come into a comfortable um, position, however that looks like for you. Um, it, I have like, this is a, called a yoga bolster. So um, if you're on the ground, you might want to sit up on something. And we're just going to go over some like housekeeping stuff. Did you all get, um, notified that this was our book for the semester and do you have the book <laughs> so you can all unmute yourselves um yeah anyone my books haven't been uh, mailed to me yet okay what else maria you have it so do like a thumbs up if you have the book or the book is on your way on the way okay cool thumbs up thumbs up and then if not, um, who's that in the bottom left-hand corner? Do you not have it? Um, got someone else coming. Um, I'm also gonna record all these classes and post them. So if you wanna review or look back, you can do that. Okay, so this is our assigned text. 
Um, and here's the thing about this class and when I teach yoga, um, it's kind of strange to give a grade to yoga, um, to like judge your practice. So I always want to walk in and think like everyone gets an A and you're all going to like just participate and do awesome. So I really don't want to make this like a stressful situation. I know um, going online, that can be hard because like last semester, a lot of people I was hearing was getting kind of like busy work. Um, so all you have to do is show up and practice and do the class. And um, that's why I think it's important. So I can like see you, have video on, kind of give you feedback about class. Um, and then you need um, a mindfulness journal. And after every practice, I just want you to do a short kind of journal entry. Um, it doesn't have to be like perfect grammar. It's more for you. Um, and just kind of reflect on what you're learning, how you feel after our movement practice. Like, oh, today my hips felt really tight or today it was our third session and I felt more like I'm understanding and learning. And I'll give you specific prompts with the journaling. Um, so, you know, like not a big deal, no pressure. And there might be like a final assignment. Um, I'll be assigning you some things to read through here. I'll be posting some things um, on Moodle for you to read. I don't wanna have to quiz you to make sure you're reading it. We'll kind of go over the stuff in class. Um, but this is mostly a movement, um, you know, class. So really we're focusing on moving. Um, and then I'll just pull up the syllabus. So here's my screen. Um, here we go. Uh, you guys can see my screen, that works. Um, so yeah, this, so let's go to the top. Dee, 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 dee. And it, for me, it has to be adjusted a little bit just because I'm used to teaching for a whole semester and we're in a little block here. So this is an introduction class to the mental, physical, and spiritual aspects of yoga. You all have the heart of yoga, your required text. If you don't have that, let me know. Um, check your Moodle often. Um, if you want like office hours, you can just email me and we can Zoom. Um, yeah, and your grade is mostly based on your participation. So that means it's a little bit different here, but just that like you're here, that's most of it. And then your, your screen is on. I can see that you're basically just trying. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We'll do like a couple journal assignments and um, maybe like a final presentation situation. So um, yeah, we'll figure that, that out. Um, what else? Does anyone have any questions or concerns? Is there anything you want to like share with me about your body or like limitations you might have? Um, I've found that most of at least last year of the MHU students were um, wanting more like a relaxing stretching kind of class. I teach a lot of kind of strong power yoga. So if anyone wants to share maybe like what they want to get out of this class or anything like that, um, yeah, open to hearing what you guys are interested in. <laughs> okay. Well, um, cool. Let's uh, do a little bit more movement. So another kind of intention and goal I have for this is for you to just be able to take away some tools with you um, to help you be like a calmer, happier, better version of yourself. Um, most people I find do yoga because they might have physical pain, like a sore back or stress. So we're going to be addressing all that. And if you want to um, like also email or reach out to me separately, like, oh, I have, yeah, like a shoulder issue. I'm on the baseball team. I have like mobility issues. Can we do like shoulder stuff? Um, yeah, that is, yeah, open to hearing all that too. So come back onto your mat and lie down. So come on down and let your legs go long and let your arms come down by your sides, palms face up. 
This might be kind of familiar, maybe you just woke up. So find um, a space where you can just lie down. Good. And then here, just close your eyes. And if you came in a little late, this can be a little similar. So at the beginning of our practice, we call this the centering. So arms come down, legs go long, close your eyes. And then just kind of get the wiggles out, maybe move your shoulders, move your hips a little, take a deep breath in. And let a big cleansing sigh out through your mouth. So place your hands on your belly again. You might feel more comfortable here on your back. And then inhale, let your belly rise. And exhale, belly falls. So breathe down into your low belly, inhale, exhale. Now bring your hands out to your ribs. See if you can feel your ribs on the side. Good, and then see if you can breathe into your ribs, inhaling here and exhaling. Ribs expand, inhale, exhale. Again, deep breath in. Exhale. And see if you can really feel your, move, your ribs move. Now place your hands up on your chest, kind of underneath your collarbones, and see if you can breathe into your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now let your arms come down by your sides. And just notice what area felt kind of the easiest to breathe into. Was it your chest, your low belly, your ribs? And now let's put that all together. So this is called the three-part breath or Durga breath. So breathe down into your low belly, expand out to the ribs and up into your chest. And then exhale the chest, ribs, belly. Good. Again, deep breath in through the nose, low belly, ribs, and chest. Exhale the chest, ribs, and belly. And now see if you can soften, let go of any effort, arms come down by your sides. Notice how you feel with just a little bit of intention on your breath on your body. Breathing in and then breathing out. So if you ever feel anxious, a great exercise to do is to think about lengthening your inhale. So inhale maybe for the count of one, two, three, pause, and then exhale six, five, four, three, two, and one. So think about um, the exhale being twice the length of the inhale to help soften and relax. Again, deep breath into the low belly, breathe in, and then breathe out. One more time, deep breath in, big exhale. Good, now if anyone's back feels sore, just lying down, you can always plant your feet down bend your knees like this and then everyone hug your knees into your chest give yourself a squeeze and gently rock from side to side here hug in release maybe circle your low back a little bit awesome and then hug your knees in lift your shoulders up off the mat curl yourself into a little ball you're gonna lower your back down now drop your knees over to the left open your arms up to a t and gaze over to the right so spinal twist here, just an easy twist. Deep breath in, we exhale, and then come back to center. Knees draw into your chest, drop from side to side. Good. And then drop your knees down to the right. Open your arms out to a T and gaze to the left. Again, spinal twist. Good. Let your arms stretch out. Maybe feel a stretch in your shoulders and your chest. Breath in. Breath out. One more breath here. 
And then come to center, knees draw in, rock from side to side. And then grab behind your legs and start to rock a little up and down along your spine, almost like you're giving your back a nice little massage here, up and down. And then rock all the way up. Again, come to seated. So this pose is called Sukhasana, comfortable cross-legged pose or easy pose. If you're tight here, if you have a blanket or a pillow, you can prop it underneath your hips to get your spine a little taller. Good, and again, place your hands on your knees and start to gently circle through your spine. Yeah, so kind of bending your elbows to the side, bring your chest forward to the side, back and around. Good, gentle circles here. Good, and then switch and go the other direction. I know if you've never done stuff like this, it might feel like a little awkward or uncomfortable, but this is a really powerful practice to really get us in our body. So we wanna feel embodied. Good, and then come back to center as you sit tall. Again, inhale and squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, shoulders drop straight down. <sighs> inhale, shoulders squeeze. Exhale, shoulders drop, sigh out of the mouth. <sighs> And then circle your shoulders up, forward, down, back and around. Good, just like that. Good, and then a little shake of your shoulders at the bottom. Reach your arms out by your sides, tenting onto your fingertips. Now inhale, arms stretch out and up. Good, and then exhale with the arms stretch down. So imagine the movement and the breath. Inhale, arms stretch out and up. And then exhale, arms come down by your sides. Good, one more time. Inhale, arms stretch out and up. Good, take a twist over to the right. Bring your right hand behind your back, your left hand outside of the right knee. Inhale, sit tall. And then exhale, twist. One more breath here. Good, and then turn to face forward. Place your right hand down. Stretch your left arm up and over for a side bend. And look at where your right hand is. Make sure it's not behind you, but right next to your hip. Top arm stretches up and over. Maybe kind of pull your top shoulder back. Good, and then come back up to center. Uncross your legs, place your feet down, hands behind your back, and just drop your knees a little side to side here, back and forth. And then press down into your hands and your feet. See if you can lift your hips up for a reverse tabletop. Good, and then lower your seat back down. Awesome, cross your legs again. Good, arms come down by your sides. Inhale, arms stretch out and up. Good, sitting tall, exhale, twist left. Right hand outside the left knee. Left hand behind your back like a pedestal, like a kickstand. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. One more deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Good, come back to face forward. Left arm down, right arm up and over. Gentle side bend. Maybe you can drop onto the bottom floor, roll your top wrist a little bit. Good, and then rise back up to seated. Good, place your hands on your knees. And we're gonna do another breathing exercise called um, the four part breath. So a lot of what we're gonna be learning this semester is based on the eight limbed system of yoga. So this is kind of philosophy um, yoga you know, was initially created and founded in India. So there are eight limbs. The first two are yama and niyama, which we'll go over. The third limb is asana. Asana means comfortable seat, and it really refers to any position we're in. So any like yoga poses, you see people in a handstand or tree pose, that's an asana. In most of like modern yoga, or yoga in the West in our country is the asana practice. And the fourth limb is pranayama. So pranayama is breathing. It means um, a prana is life, and um, a yam, prana yama, <laughs> yama is control. So it's being able to control the breath. And when we can control our breath, it helps us to control our thoughts and our feelings. Uh, cultivating a deeper breath is uh, just really beneficial medically, physically, um, yeah, a really great practice to do. So even in a simple way, just bringing more of attention into your breath can just be really beneficial and help us to calm, feel more connected. So sitting tall, really notice if you kind of tend to slouch like most of us do, so you can draw your shoulders back and down, lift tall for your spine. So this pranayama exercise is called square breathing. 
um, or the four part breath, but not four part square breathing. So imagine there's kind of a square in front of you. So we're gonna inhale to the count of one, two, three, four, and then hold the breath for one, two, three, four. So think like a square. Exhale for one, two, three, four, and then hold one, two, three, four. So pretty self-explanatory. So sit tall, hands down on your legs. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let a big sigh out of your mouth. <sighs> okay, and let's begin. Inhale for the count of one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold the breath. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hold the breath. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hold. And one more round, inhale, hold. Exhale, hold. Let that go. <sighs> and just notice how you feel. See if you can let yourself kind of focus, concentrate, really be here in this body. The eighth limb in the eight limbs of yoga is samadhi, which means absorption or bliss, kind of like a transcendence. And one of the many goals I think of our yoga practice is to allow us the ability to sit still with ourselves, to not be distracted or anxious or trying to cover up, but just allowing ourselves to be with ourselves, all of our parts and accept ourselves. So body, mind, and spirit. So just notice what that little bit of breath did for you this morning. Breathing in and breathing out. And then everyone again, bring your hands together in front of your heart. So if you were a little bit of late, this was what we did in the beginning of our short practice today. Um, our intention. So in Sanskrit, the kind of language of yoga, um, the intention is called a sankalpa, a solemn vow. So you can think of a positive statement in the present tense, like I am healing, I am love, I am strong, I am free. And then just say it to yourself three times, like an I am statement, as though it is already happening in the present tense. So I am successful. I have abundance, I'm smart, anything kind of like a positive affirmation. Take a deep breath in, let it go. Press your palms together and stretch your arms up and then reach your arms down by your sides. All right, so for the first um, maybe two weeks, we're just gonna kind of play with how we format this two and a half hour um, block just because it's a long time to do yoga. So I now want you to kind of break off and do um, a practice on your own. Um, raise your hand if anyone's ever done yoga before. Is this most people's like first times? Maybe some of you have done a little bit, okay. Um, so in Moodle under announcement, I posted um, my YouTube channel. I actually think I have two, but one is for like Mars Hill. So it's some of the classes I did online last semester. So the first two listed are um, like a gentle yoga class, which is like 59 minutes. And then another one's an hour, which is like flowing in. Um, it should be like beginner friendly if you've never done it. So from 8.30 to 9.30, I'd like you to do one of those practices and at about, and then take like a five minute break. And then from like 9.35 to 10.30, we're gonna kind of go over a couple more, um, just kind of definitions of yoga, different styles of practice, some of like the philosophy um, and that sort of thing. And we might not even go till 10.30. 
And then I guess moving forward, maybe we'll do, yeah, like a five to 15 minute little lecture in the beginning, an hour practice, a break. So we'll just kind of all figure it out as we go along. But like I said, the most important part of your grade is just your presence and your participation. Um, so yeah, you're all doing great so far. And yeah, now we'll meet back up here. I think this Zoom link will still work. And if it doesn't, I'll post another one. And I'll see you guys at 9.35. Okay.